I just want to say how excited I am over this shoe. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Hello everyone, so I uh, just got done with my run, uh, so I probably look like crap, but it's a little warm out here, did about uh, seven and a half uh, miles, and it's about 80 degrees already. Um, we're out here in a park, my dog wanted to get out, she didn't run with me this morning, so I brought her out here, and today we are going to do a shoe review on... Saucony Endorphin Pros. As always, uh, everything I say about uh, any of the products I review, uh, I do not receive any uh, kind of uh, compensation for anything. Everything is my complete opinion um, and my thoughts. And with that, we'll get into it. So my dog's being a little crazy pants today. Wandering around out here, she was just laying there chewing on a stick. Now I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, you just sit there. You just sit there. Okay. Anyways, Saucony Endorphin Pro. I am so excited about this shoe. I can tell you right now that this is definitely my 2020 marathon shoe. Uh, might even be my half marathon racing shoe. Just, I love this upper. Uh, it fits good. I mean, the, uh, yeah, everything about this upper I love. This shoe uh, fit very snug around my foot. I had no issues with heel slipping, so it locked down really good. Uh, very breathable upper. Um, yeah, very, very, very comfortable. I did not think uh, doing this was going to be so difficult because my dog I was just laying there chewing on a stick. <laughs> but now she's just being ridiculous. So I might have to actually walk while we do this. So this shoe is um, does have a higher stack height than I normally go for. Uh, so that took a little bit of get, getting used to for me. Um, but I still really really like running in this shoe. Um, one of my other videos I mentioned the fact that it just makes me want to go fast and it does. Uh, I would try and run a uh, you know around that eight and a half minute uh, per mile pace and I would end up then I'd look down at my watch and I was running 640, 630 without even trying and I didn't feel like I was even trying. Um, this shoe makes me run fast and uh, I didn't I, I felt good running that eight and a half minute pace just like I did the, the six and a half minute pace I mean it was I really like this shoe this is definitely one of the big wins for me for this year so far um, right up there with the Hyperion the Brooks Hyperion Tempo uh, I really, really love this. This might be my favorite shoe uh, of the year. The uh, carbon fiber plate, uh, you can definitely tell it's in there. It does give you uh, some energy return because um, it is a little more, it's a rigid. I mean, it, it definitely gives you that pop, I guess you could say. Uh, now it's getting windy, so hopefully uh, you can still hear me. Um, durability, 
I mean, I've ran about 60 miles so far in this shoe. Uh, and I don't see a lot of wear yet. I will probably put this in maybe the 200 mile category just based upon how much rubber is actually on the bottom because there's not a lot. Um, but I'm not hardly seeing any wear. Um, as I got tired, the longest run I've done in this was 16 miles. Uh, and as I got more tired, you know, heel striking a little bit more, you couldn't, it, it still felt good. There's enough cushion in this that even uh, as I got tired and went from the mid strike to a heel strike, uh, it didn't beat up my legs at all still. And that was really good. Uh, definitely did not feel like my legs were, were getting beat up on this shoe. Um, again, like I said, it's, it's a softer landing than what I'm used to. I do typically like that firmer, but I think because this has that carbon fiber plate in it with that pop, I think that's why I like it and don't mind that softer uh, landing. Uh, I will say because it does have that higher stack height than what I'm used to, um, I had to be careful when I was running on rough terrain. I did actually twist my ankle a little bit just because I wasn't as didn't have as stable of a feel um, with the ground contact like I, I typically like. But um, this, I, I would never use this on trails anyway, so that's not a, a big big problem for me. Um, this will definitely be my racing shoe so far for, for 2020. I do really like this shoe. Uh, it's a big win for me. I actually cannot think of one thing I do not like about this shoe. Uh, it is just a big win. NASA, NASA, what are you doing, NASA? Hey, NASA. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Well, my dog had finally had enough of just sitting around there. I don't know why she can't just enjoy rolling around in the grass, but she just has to be on the move all the time. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed my video. Um, you know, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll keep making videos. Hit the like button. Uh, feel free to follow me on Strava at, uh, and uh, Instagram. Details will be listed below. And until next time, guys, stay motivated, keep your goals, keep out there running.